everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and this is my channel where we talk about all the houseplant things. Today we are going to be doing another unboxing update where I show you an unboxing video that I did a very long time ago and show you what plants are still with me today and how they're doing. So we're going to be looking back at a video that I posted on November 14th, 2019. So that was quite a while ago. And I have to admit, not all the plants are still with me. The track record's kind of dropping here, but that's okay because the ones that I have left are very, very beautiful. So the first plant that I unboxed is very, very special to me even to this day. We've seen it featured on my channel quite a bit lately. So let's go back in time and see what that plant was. I don't even know like which is the top and which is the bottom right now. These leaves are so good. <gasps> oh my God. I'm freaking out right now. <gasps> Oh my, I'm so sorry. I just, I am just. <laughs> and today, the plant is still alive. And let me tell you, I am equally shocked and excited that it's still with me today. There was definitely a moment in time where I was certain that it was not going to make it, but thankfully this anthurium, which was actually my second anthurium ever, is doing it very well. So it has been living in my greenhouse cabinet, which I think did the trick to fix whatever was going wrong with it because I just think that it needs an insane amount of humidity. I mean, I think all anthurium need an insane amount of humidity and my journey with them is ongoing and I'm learning constantly, absorbing content about them and just trying to be a better anthurium parent for them. So with all of that being said, this is her. So this is the newest leaf that's coming out. That's why I have her strategically positioned here. So you can see it is just very, very beautiful. It's still growing. So it just popped out without me even realizing it as well. It was putting out a bloom, which I was going to pollinate. <laughs> And then I went to like the the bloom was kind of snaking up in the greenhouse cabinet and it was hooked over the light in there So I went to move it and I just did it too fast and the flower snapped and I felt like a monster and it's okay because it'll flower again another time and We'll, we'll try again later <laughs> But anyway as soon as that happened as soon as it snapped I actually took a moment to look at the plant a little bit better and I noticed that this leaf was coming up and it was very small at that point and it's just been getting bigger and bigger. I think one of the best things about anthurium is their leaves are so tiny when they start and then they just keep getting bigger, which is so fun. But let me show you the rest of the plant. This is the newest leaf besides this one that came out that sort of gave me hope that the plant is going to be okay. <laughs> because for a while, like I said, it was not doing well. But then this leaf came out and it looks beautiful. It is perfect in every way. Like anthurium, uh, Clarinervium is genuinely, in my opinion, top two most beautiful anthurium, like truly. The veining is really beautiful. The heart-shaped leaf is really beautiful. So if you are looking into them, I would suggest this one. I think it is pretty easily found. I wouldn't say it's an easy plant to take care of <laughs> given my history with it, but if you're up for a challenge, I think that it's a good one. And you know, worst case scenario, you can always chop it down to a stump and start over. But we do have this leaf, which came out soon after, um, Soon after I got the plant, it's starting to yellow off and sort of age out, which makes me sad because actually these two leaves were the inspiration. They were what I used to draw my plant friends sticker. If you didn't know, I have merch and one of them is two Clarinervium leaves next to each other. It's two different green colors because at the time one of them was still hardening off and it was a lighter green and it was very sweet. So if you're interested in that, I'll have that link down below if you're interested in that, but yeah, one of those leaves is actually dying off and I'm really sad, but also very happy that it is in De La Plant's history as one of my merch stickers. So anyway, that's all I have to say about this one. Thankfully, it is putting out another leaf, so there is still hope for her being a happy plant. Okay, the next plant in the unboxing is much smaller, but very cute. Let's check it out. What is this? that little cutie i think i know what this is called but i forgot what is this called oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh it's so cute crystallinum i think it's a crystallinum and here it is today <laughs> 
So not incredibly like impressive. It recently lost a leaf and you know, we kind of are going through it. I think that I underwatered it. I didn't water it when it really needed it. I was on a vacation, like visiting my family in Tucson a couple days ago and I came home and it was very thirsty and, and there's another leaf on its way out. You can see right here, this one's kind of yellowing off. However, we do have a new one coming out. And I'm working with a new lens today, so I don't know how the autofocus is gonna do. Hopefully, it'll pick it up just like my old lens, but hopefully this one, I don't know, feels a little bit higher quality. We'll have to see. Maybe you won't even notice. <laughs> Anyway, this is the largest leaf that it's ever put out. It's very, very beautiful. I would say that this leaf is entirely a product of the greenhouse cabinet, as well as the newest leaf that's coming out next. Hopefully it'll be very large. I'm very excited to see what this plant will do in the coming years and weeks and everything else, but I don't really have much else to say about it besides it was a, a free gift from Oscar from Plant That Plant, so I totally wasn't expecting to get this. So it was kind of like a fun bonus thing that I can like experiment on and try out. And I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Like it's been a pretty fun plant to watch and yeah, let's move on. Oh, also I should say, this video is a collective unboxing, so it's from multiple days. And I'm just gonna be honest with you, the next set of unboxing, the air plant and the Hoya piece, I don't have anymore because the air plant died and then the Hoya piece I ended up giving away, I think in a plant swab right before I moved. I just didn't have the space to bring it with me, so I didn't end up keeping that one. Um, but then we move on to plants that I unboxed from Planting the World Red, Ashley, and let's see those ones. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Okay, this is Monstera Adansoniae. Look at how big this leaf is. Hold on, one of the leaves is broken, but we still have three other really beautiful ones. Look at how big that is. Oh my gosh. This is a variegated lipstick plant. This one is a Philodendron Glorioxum. As you can see, it's a baby, and we have two new leaves coming out right here and right here. Oh my goodness, look at that little baby. That is simply precious, oh my gosh. Okay, so that lipstick plant, I do still have, miraculously. It's sitting in this water jar, so it's not really like, doing anything because it's basically lived in water since I got it from her. I really ought to put it in another situation to see like what it would do. But yeah, this is basically what it looks like. It's not like mega impressive, but it is still alive and it's just been sitting in this jar with this Hoya Rebecca cutting, which is actually trying to bloom. If you can, if you can see that peduncle, it's trying to bloom for me. The next plant from her was this Adansonii, which is so cute. And this Adansonii has taught me so much, specifically that Adansonii is not a lost, a lost cause for me because for so long I thought that I just could not have Adansonii. I thought that I would kill them every single time. And this plant has really shown me that that is not the case. And especially like if you try and you try to understand the plant, it will live. And it's by no means like the most beautiful, biggest Adansonii ever, but the leaves have taken on this really nice, really wide, big uh, fenestration look. And I just really love the way that that looks. This is very unique as compared to my other Adansonii. Like this one behind me is an Adansonii, but just look at the difference in color of the leaves alone. It's just really cool to see all the different like variations of Adansonii. So I have a few around my house still, but this one is so special and it's in a pot from my friend Holly at Concrete Botanical. So anyway, still alive, very happy, and it sits on this shelf right here. And you can probably see it in some of my videos depending on the angle. And then the last plant still with us from that video is this one. This is the Gloriosum that Ashley gave me. And it is so beautiful. I have since combined it with another Gloriosum that I bought from Tennessee Tropicals. So that kind of doubled its size. Both of the pieces were quite small. So now it's just like a, a small baby, medium size plant. Gloriosum actually get really, really big. So I'm excited to have this plant long-term and see what it does in the long-term. But this is what it looks like now. You can see it just has the most beautiful leaf texture and, well not leaf texture, but leaf 
um, design. These are the softest leaves ever. We have a new one coming out right here and a new one coming out back here. This leaf is on its way out and I wanted to chop it off before I showed you, but I figured that I would just show it so that, you know, we're, we're honest about what our plants look like. <laughs> Sometimes they, the leaves get old and they die off and that's totally normal. This is not concerning to me in the slightest because it's just an older leaf. It's been around for a very long time and it's just ready to go. So it's a very normal part of a plant's life cycle and I think that we should really embrace it. And this plant actually just lives on this shelf right here. So I'm sure that now you know where to look, you will be able to see it more often. All right, you guys, that is going to be all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I feel very proud when I do one of these videos and a lot of the plants are still with me because for a while I had a tendency to buy plants and then kill them very quickly. And I feel like a lot of the plants that I showed you today are super integral parts of my plant collection, like probably plants that you've seen me talk about a lot and plants that you might have even recognized from past videos and everything like that because yeah, a lot of these I love so much. They're some of my favorite plants and I talk about them as much as I can. So anyway, if this is any incentive to you to keep your plants long-term, you know, work with them through whatever they're going through. I hope that this was helpful for you and inspiring to help your plants get to those bigger, better stages in their life if you keep them long-term. All right, you guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.